Hi folks, Nella here with KO. Uh, happy Boxing Day. Um, so KO is here because I'm going to share with you some of the writing I've done um, about this fella here. Um, I mentioned in the previous video that KO is considerably more talkative than Ghost. Um, there has been updates um, on that front. Ghost can speak. I actually have written out some sequences where Ghost speaks. Um, but uh, they have a lot of difficulties with um, spoken languages. They're fine with um, say, their comprehension of spoken languages and of written um, languages is really quite spectacular, um, but I think that whatever Ghost is, um, they don't use verbal, verbal communication. Maybe some sort of telepathic mind-to-mind -mind communication, um, because, like, Ghost knows words and understands when this fast-talking fella talks, um, but it's like they can't get their mouth to shape, um, to shape words correctly and to remember the orders, and it's really difficult for them to actually get sounds out. Um, so the writing I've done is quite heavy on KO talking, um, and it's actually two of them are our first person, um, his perspective. So, on to the stories. <laughs> hey, ghost! A white dot peeks uh, out of the pine tree. K.O. waves, his black claws shining. Maybe getting his friend down won't be so hard after all. I have a story to tell you. The white dot disappears from view. All this shouting is hurting my throat. Can't you come down already? The fox-like creature calls. He takes a step towards the massive cedar. There is a rustle behind his back. A spirit, a small spirit, shaped like a droplet, is nudging his knapsack. Turning away from the tree, K.O. tiptoes up to the spirit. What you got, Blob? He whispers. This isn't the first time K.O. has tried talking to the things that follow Ghost around. He has to be careful with them, though, since they're used to Ghost. It took spooking the cute little things a few times by moving too quickly and being too loud for him to figure out what the problem was. The spirit blob looks at him with its big black eyes and bobs next to the bag. K.O. opens the top and the blob flows in like raindrops sliding on a window. The spirit hums, and K.O. reaches inside the bag. He pulls out a thin booklet titled Selected Campfire Stories. A story. You want me to read them a story? The ghost drop quickly bobs up and up and down, humming louder. Mm. I already asked, and they popped back into their hidey hole. The bob flies up into its into his face, so close it's almost touching his muzzle. Okay, okay, I'll do it. The drop pulls back, and Ko tightens the belt of his coat. So, uh, ghosty, it looks like you're getting a story after all. You stay up there. I'll just read out loud and such from uh, down here. Uh, this next bit is purely dialogue. It's K.O. talking to Ghost um, as he is reading from the booklet. Ghost. 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 This booklet is hilarious. Do the humans really think all of this is... Wait... Wait, I just learned 
a word for this. Where is it? Ah, bubkiss. Do they really think it's all bubkit? Bubkiss? Of course, there are things living in the woods, magical creatures and such. Let's see. For starters, ah, uh, there's me and there's you and the little spirit spot spirit spots who like you so much yeah yeah i'll get back to the story we can laugh at the humans another time and this one is from today continuing the theme of kale finds humans funny and amusing and a little bit frightening um in the first, one of the first readers talking about KO and Ghost Story, I mentioned that if they don't take place in the same world as Anne Piccaro's, um Miss Emily's School for Excellence, um, then they are somehow connected with it, um, because KO does know the story um, of Francis and the king of the forest and how that didn't turn out so well um but anyway this is another this is a story where there is a bit more of that connection as elaborated on okay <laughs> on to the story uh this is purely ko talking to himself uh probably aloud because he does that a lot okay <clears throat> so like today i left the space in the woods to get ghost a gift. The humans give the things to people who are important to them and I thought to myself, ghost is important, you know? Not important like a head honcho, more personal like uh, special. Anywho, I stumbled onto the grounds of a, uh, of a, uh, of a, uh, what's the word? Come on, I know it, come on, K.O., you got this. It's a building where the humans, they send their younglings for long periods of time to be filled up with learnings. It starts with an S. Sub. Sandwich. Skedaddle. Scort. Skyscraper. Skit. Scoo. School? School. Close. Not quite it. School, school. School! That's it. A school. Right. Uh, so I was by this school, see, and every single kid was wearing the same sweater. How boring is that? I mean, the same sweater? At least they were green and not gray. Ugh, I hate gray. Anyway, so I saw this book lying on the ground. There's a book, this big picture of a willow tree on it that some kid must have forgotten to put back in their bag. So, uh, lucky me, huh? Ghost loves new stories, and they're more than a little too skish to be acquiring them for themselves, you know? But before I could grab it, one of the sweatered squir one of the sweatered squirts saw me. You best believe I hightailed it out of there. Rats, now I gotta find something else to bring back to Ghost. Um, so yeah. <laughs> that is it. I hope you enjoyed those stories. Um uh, I should probably go make myself some lunch or something. <laughs> Okay, bye everyone. Bye.